Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to warp, use the warp tool that's found inside Free Transform, or the Free Transform tool. Now, this is different than the other warps, guys, and I want to state this up front here because it can be very confusing for people that are new to Photoshop where they want, I want to do some warping, I want to make some changes, which is perfectly fine, and you want to select Puppet Warp or Perspective Warp. This is not those warps. Those are totally different, used for different purposes. Free Transform Warp, just basically Free Transform where we can make some warps. Now, enough of the preamble. Let me show you what I mean. All right, guys, I've got some stock footage on here. I've selected a wine bottle. What good is that? Well, what does it tell you about me? <laughs> okay, I read into that whatever you want, guys. But I've got a stock footage wine bottle here. And now I'm going to apply a label to it. And then we're going to warp it and make it a look, look a little bit more realistic. So if you want to follow along with me, just drag and drop in any old type of bottle or anything you want for that matter. Then you want to select the label. I'm going to go ahead and select this label that I've selected. And drag, drag and drop that on there. And it's got its own little layer action going on there. I'm going to go ahead and reduce its size. So I'm just going to shift and then reduce from one of the four corners so that it's about right size. And I'm going to place it in the middle here, somewhere around here. Okay, so I'm obviously still a little bit too big here. So I just want to go ahead and reduce the size a bit more on the left. That looks about right. And then I'll reduce it over there. And that looks about right. Zoom in here, just the zoom tool. Or if you're on a Mac, just pinch and zoom. And it works pretty good. I think we're about one set of mini pixels too far. I think that's the one right there because that's where it shades. And okay, so we are in business, guys. I'll move it up a little bit. It's going to hold the shift key down and then drag it up. And we're getting about where I want to be. So let's say this is where your wine bottle goes. Hit enter. Now, in a lot of cases on the internet, you'll see something like this. Oh, yeah, that's a bad place. Let's move it down. Sorry, guys. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, and that looks not bad because there's not a whole lot of curvature in the bottle, but we want to add in a little bit of a subtle look to it. So what we will do is we will go up here and go to Edit and then Free Transform. Make sure Free Transform is selected or Control or Command T if you're, if you're uh, good with your hotkeys. And then now what you'll see at the top here when you hit Free Transform is this tool here. It's the switch between Free Transform and Warp Modes. We want to left click on this bad boy and then you'll see it creates this little grid where we can actually start making serious adjustments and serious warps. So I'll just show you what I mean. Just grab one of these little corners and pull on it. Look at that. Crazy warp, guys. Pull this one up. All right, big warp. You can actually do all sorts of crazy stuff. Pull it down, and it'll even warp in on itself. Command or Control Z to go back to the middle and go back to neutral. So that's obviously not the effect that we're looking for, but we want to have a nice little warp at the top here to make it look like the, you know, make it look natural. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That phone call is my parole officer, so just hang on. Um, I'm not going to answer it, just kidding. So I'm going to grab it in the middle here, and then I'm going to push up. And watch what this does. This adds a very subtle warp, but that is the look we're going for. So when I zoom out, you look at it like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can go ahead and check mark it. And then, yeah, look at that. We've got a very nice subtle look, warp at the top. And we've still got it, you know, kind of weird at the bottom. So maybe we'll add a warp to the bottom too. So I'll just go edit, go make sure you're back to free transform just in case, and then left click on the transform and the warp tool. And then on this one, maybe to make it look a little bit more accurate, I pull it down a smidgen like that and commit it. Okay. And you click the check mark to commit. Now, when I zoom out, that looks more like a proper wine bottle or a proper label because it has that little gentle warp that goes with the bottle. Perfect, guys. The other thing I'll show you here, I'll just, uh, oh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and then I'm going to reapply it so I can show you a few other options. Um, just, put it re just put it right back on there, and I'll go real quick through this, because the warp tool has some other cool things that you can look at. Um, I'm going to center it here, sure, and zip it down. And this doesn't have to be 100% accurate, guys, because we're just going for the tutorial. So I'll move it up to the top so it's even more, yeah, it's even more obvious. All right, and this is not a trance. Yeah, let's just go with something like that. Whatever. Close enough. And now you can go in, edit, free transform. We'll click on this tool, but you'll also see that it has some presets as well. So if you want to arc it, boom! Whoa, that's a big arc. But just check this out. Reduce the bend down to something subtle, like let's say 2%, 1%. And you've got some, you know, you've got some strange stuff going on. I'll hold it escape so it doesn't commit. Um, but let's say you want to try the other ones, right? So edit. 
free transform click on the little warp tool the one that I would recommend in this situation is the bulge and uh, obviously that's still way too much but this actually gets a pretty accurate look too so if we reduce the bulge from 50% which is its default starting state to about 5% hit enter so it's committed you zoom way out and it's actually pretty close to what we're looking for so guys that's how you use the free transform tool if you want to add in even more cool stuff uh, to make it look even more realistic you could add in some texture a very very light fading texture if you want the it to look like a like an older label um, you can also burn a light to the middle here so you have like uh, some some dark shadows on the sides and it's kind of brighter in the middle there's a lot of different things you can do guys but for the warp for warping your object really that's it through the free transform tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Cheers.